Hi there, I'm Amy Hanton, the cooking mom. And I don't know about you, but there's nothing like meatloaf. Coming home to a dinner of nice warm meatloaf after a long kind of crazy day. And I remember when I was a kid growing up and I'd come home from a long day at school and I'd just walk in the door and I'd smell that meatloaf in the oven, either that my Nana made or my mom made. Just so, so good. It just, just wraps you up, gives you a big hug, makes you feel good all over but these days life is so crazy busy between my job and the kids and my husband's work that sometimes it's just too much to put a homemade meatloaf together and that's where the folks at festival come in they actually make something called mom's meatloaf and you know what it tastes just like my mom's it actually is made with real wisconsin lean ground beef and ground pork and they mix in fresh eggs and onion and red pepper and little sage and it's it's just so easy. They do it all for you. You can either buy it so that you can make your own loaf or they actually have it right here in a loaf pan already done for you and just bake it in, in your oven. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to show you how to make a quick sauce to go on top of that meatloaf and really dress it up. And hey, one more thing. Besides just making it into meatloaf, mom's meatloaf is also great for those mini party meatballs or even my kids' favorite, I use it to make spaghetti and meatball, so you can use it to make a whole bunch of different things. But now, back to that meatloaf. My mom and my nana always had some sort of a wonderful, special tomato sauce on top of the meatloaf to just make it extra special. So I'm gonna take the, the mom's meatloaf, which we baked in, again, a preheated 350 degree oven for about an hour until the internal temperature reaches 155 degrees. And then you pull it out of the oven and you're gonna put this quick, easy glaze on top. We're gonna use about a cup of ketchup quarter cup of brown sugar just to sweeten things up a bit. A tablespoon or so of Worcestershire sauce. So this is all the stuff you already have in your pantry already. And then just a tablespoon or so. I like to use Dijon mustard, but if you don't have that in the house, regular mustard would work just fine. So I'm just gonna stir that up real quick. It's that easy. And then just goes get spooned right on top of our cooked meatloaf. Keep that all the on though, because this is going to go back in to really caramelize that glaze. And then one more thing. My mom always put a little crunchy on top of her meatloaf. So we're going to use just some French fried onions. Just come in the can, sprinkle some of those on top. So this meatloaf goes back into the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes at that same 350 degrees. Comes out, and let me tell you, you look like a rock star to your family. And how easy was that? Here we have it, and gotta have an easy side dish to go with it. We just picked up some hash brown, cheesy hash brown casserole with real Wisconsin cheddar cheese on top, right? You find it right in the deli case at festival. Just pop that in the microwave or bake it along with your meatloaf and then some nice green beans or a salad. So make your life easy. Pick up some mom's meatloaf. Your family will love it. And then why not jazz it up with a little of my homemade sauce recipe. Enjoy. Great stuff, but not a lot of money.